Hey there everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to go over the cardiac views to do a fetal heart survey. Now, this uh, video is going to be in conjunction with Mary Beth Tamari, which I'm very, very pleased and very happy to be working with her. She's provided all of the imaging and she will be also featured in this video. She also wrote the blog article that's going to go along with this, which I will link to. I will also link to her socials. Uh, again, very happy to have her with us. So we're basically going to go over the five views that you need to evaluate of the heart. We'll begin with the most common one, which is the four chamber view, which everyone is uh, aware of. It's usually the one of the first views you learn. So here you got a diagram showing the four chamber view with the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. The heart is usually at a 45 degree angle. So here you have like a midline sagittal axis. And off that axis is going to be 45 degrees to the left. This is your right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, pulmonary veins. This view is good at ruling out 40 to 50% of congenital heart disease. So here we have a slowed down video of the four chamber view. You can see the valves opening and closing, the pulmonary veins. This is the apex of the heart. This will be the front of the chest. And there you can start to see the left ventricular outflow tract. And then the right ventricular outflow tract. The three vessel view and the three vessel trachea view. And then here you have the thymus. So one more time, this is the anterior part of the baby, posterior, this is the baby's left, the baby's right. Sagittal midline would be about here. And you can see the heart is tilted at about a 45 degree angle from the midline. So here you have your aorta. This is the apex of the heart, right ventricle, right atrium, tricuspid valve, intraventricular septum, intraatrial septum. The fossa ovale would be here left atrium here you have your pulmonary veins mitral valve and then left ventricle and here's the same image with the labeling now let's let mary beth take over the lvot rvot three vessel view and three vessel tricky view let's take a deeper dive into our lvot this is the left ventricle this is the right ventricle the right ventricle is your most anterior portion of the heart your left ventricle is very smooth wall that LVOT comes off the left ventricle and angles towards the baby's right shoulder. You can see that the LVOT is very smooth walled. You can see the left atrium, the mitral valve, the right ventricle, and a little bit of that tricuspid valve. This right here is a great place to look for VSD, so do not sleep on this uh, shot right here. And when you turn on color, you can see why. So you can see right here where the color is nice and even. There's no aortic stenosis. You can see that valve opening and closing really well, and you can see that entirety of the septum right here. And that's how we know that there's no VSD up there. Let's talk about the RVOT. Comes off the right ventricle, curves anteriorly, points to the baby's left shoulder. That bifurcation, the right pulmonary artery, this becomes a ductus arteriosus. There the aorta's right there. This is where color really helps highlight this bifurcation. So do not sleep on this. You can see the aorta right in the middle there. This bright red, right where it comes in, that's alicine from your ductus arteriosus. Let's talk about other anatomy that's in this shot. So again, right pulmonary artery, ductus arteriosus, aorta, right atrium, tricuspid valve is gonna come in right there. So you can see here as it's pumping, there's your tricuspid valve, there's your aorta. You can see the pulmonary valve, opening and closing right there. And again, there's your ductus arteriosus, there's your right pulmonary artery. What does your RVT turn into? Your three vessel view, boom, look at that. And then your three vessel tracheal view. So pulmonary artery, aorta, superior vena cava, trachea, thymus. All right, everybody give Mary Beth a very big round of applause. She is Sano Eyes on TikTok and Instagram. I will put her links in the bio. And hopefully she'll join us for more uh, future videos, all right? Thank you very much. Bye.